why don't we all have hydrogen cars yet? We've talked about using different fossil fuels as the power source for different cars as well as battery electric cars, but we rarely talk about the other emerging power sources that are in development, that can burn cleaner and are more stable. Today, we will be talking about some of the new technologies surrounding hydrogen cars. Yes, I know, it might seem weird to think that hydrogen is fuel for cars, but trust me, it is the most sustainable and energy safe option if its cons can be minimized. You must be wondering, how can hydrogen be used as fuel? And what are the pros and cons of using it? Well, stick around till the end as we answer these questions and more as we delve into some of the brand new details surrounding hydrogen cars. Without further ado, let us begin. So first of all, what are hydrogen cars? Well, if I had to put it simply, cars that run on hydrogen are called hydrogen cars and they use that fuel to power an electric motor. Hydrogen-powered vehicles generate energy by a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen, with water as the emerging byproduct, as opposed to conventional petrol or gas or diesel-powered vehicles, which burn fuel and release pollutants into the atmosphere. This basically means that hydrogen cars are clean and environmentally beneficial because of the efficiency of the process and the fact that the output is water vapor. So as you can imagine, they have a massive advantage here compared to other commonly used fossil fuels. Now let us understand how hydrogen can be used for energy in an automotive, which can propel the car forward. Well, hydrogen is stored in the vehicle's high pressure tanks and then pumped into the fuel cell stack as needed. The hydrogen is converted into energy by the fuel cell stack, which in turn powers the electric motor that drives the vehicle. I'm sure most people have heard whispers, rumors, or news about hydrogen cars, but you must be wondering, if they hold a massive advantage in terms of environmental gains compared to a regular petrol-based combustion engine, why are they not being used so widely? Well, that is largely due with the pros and cons of using hydrogen as a fuel in automobiles, which we will now discuss and you can decide the practicality yourselves. We will start positively first. So what are the pros? The biggest advantage of using hydrogen cars as already discussed is the environmentally safe emission of the energy process being the emission of water or H2O rather than carbon dioxide and monoxide. Another huge advantage of using hydrogen cars is that they can be refueled in just a few minutes. Although this is comparable in reality to the refueling process of most current combustion options, the real comparable eco-friendly option is electric cars, which is a major time consumer unless you have a speed charger locally, which costs money to use, or a converter in your own home, which consumes a lot of power. The time to charge an electric car presently is between 30 minutes and 24 hours. While people are trying to invent faster charging methods, why bother when you can have hydrogen cars that could be refueled within minutes? Besides being easily refueled, did you know that hydrogen cars have a longer range than electric cars? They can travel up to 400 miles on a single one kilogram of hydrogen within the fuel cell. While cars such as Tesla have come up with electric cars with longer ranges, they still don't beat a hydrogen car when it comes to range in a general sense with the average being 100 to 200 miles electric and 300 to 400 miles hydrogen. A lot of people were also happy that electric cars are now being used widely, as they are a fair amount quieter compared to gasoline-powered engines. This is also no change for hydrogen cars, as rather than combustion, the power generated is due to the electrochemical generation of drive by the hydrogen fuel cells. Last but not least, hydrogen is a safe, non-toxic fuel. Unlike gasoline, hydrogen is not flammable in its gaseous state. This makes it highly safe for use and can avoid a lot of unfavorable scenarios that present themselves when it comes to gasoline-powered engines. But to kick off the cons, hydrogen used in fuel cells can cause fires and explosions if not handled properly, not to mention the flame burns invisible. So safety is always the key with hydrogen fuel cells. Even though it might not seem like no major cons exist, trust me, just like both gasoline-powered engines and electric engines, a lot of them do. First of all, we have limited infrastructure. Currently, 
very few hydrogen refueling stations are available, making it difficult to refuel a hydrogen car in remote areas and anywhere where government initiatives and major companies are not establishing hydrogen fuels. But as most people know, electric cars also have the same issue right now. For us to adopt any of the two cars, first of all, an extensive refueling or charging station network should be built. This will still take many years on most continents. A great example of driving this economy of change is the EU. We have formally banned sale of petrol and diesel cars by 2035. Now let's talk dollars and cents. Hydrogen cars are expensive to produce, which makes them more expensive to purchase than traditional gasoline-powered cars. A basic sedan-level hydrogen car can go for 64 to 84,000 Australian dollars. Examples such as the Hyundai Nexo and the Toyota Mirai and a single cab Ute for 189,000 Australian dollars, such as the H2X Wergo, which is very expensive compared to the petrol diesel counterparts. But this technology in Australia is still relatively new. In fact, hydrogen cars can only currently be leased, not owned. This is a big reason why most people are yet to fully switch to hydrogen cars. Another disadvantage these cars have is there are only a few models of hydrogen cars available on the market limiting consumer options. And in all honesty, this makes sense, as how will you refill it currently? It's not exactly an option to go to the local compressed hydrogen gas pump right now. We have already talked about hydrogen cars being more expensive than gasoline-powered cars. But besides the vehicle itself, hydrogen itself is generally expensive and energy-intensive to produce, which makes it difficult to scale up the production of hydrogen cars and negates some of the environmental benefits. The Toyota Mirai, for example, has two hydrogen tanks the size of 122 liters, or 32 US gallons, which can store, based on gas pressure, five kilograms of hydrogen each. Luckily, the newest technology is keeping the weight of these reinforced tanks down, which historically would have weighed up to 700 kilograms to hold gas pressurized at 10,000 PSI. Now the two tanks together in the Mirai weigh about 87 kilograms as they are made out of carbon fiber reinforced plastic rather than steel. But back on point, hydrogen fuel estimates in Australia between 2022 to 2030 sit at four to six dollars per kilogram, which is more expensive than petrol, diesel. But judging by 10 kilogram for up to 600 kilometers, price seems pretty reasonable. Overall, Hydrogen-powered automobiles offer various benefits and drawbacks. They're better for the environment than electric cars and can generally travel further before needing to be recharged, fueled. Unfortunately, current infrastructure constraints make their production and availability the primary limiting factor. This coupled with prohibitively high purchase costs and a small selection of models makes a buy it or leave it appeal to those middle class and up. As hydrogen refueling infrastructure develops, hydrogen powered vehicles may gain ground on their gasoline and electric powered counterparts. But a main issue with all these environmental changes is that it is mass change that generates an outcome. The very fact that the production of electric and hydrogen cars consumes bulk fossil fuels eliminates the benefits unless it becomes the norm to have them. We would need to build entirely new cars and will need to build an entirely new refueling station network, which could phase out and then replace current infrastructure. Maybe the EU will be a tale of what not to do or a great success. So to conclude, I would just say that even though hydrogen engines have a lot of potential, the answer to the future of automobiles is uncertain. A hybrid hydrogen electric car sounds ideal to enable environmental sustainability as well as reliability of a power source or sources that are readily available. Sure, they might have some drawbacks, but we are working on them slowly, and soon the electric car system will be fully integrated into our lives and will fully replace the gasoline-powered system. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video that explains a little more about hydrogen cars. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new video from us.
you did enjoy the video, give it a like and leave a comment. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.